Hey all, Virtual Frank back to help you with some advanced techniques on PowerPoint. Kaylee has already shown you how to do a basic presentation, now let's jazz it up a bit. When we left, Kay had given us four slides. That's not enough. Let's add a slide. She showed you how to do it, but let's remind you. Highlight ahead of where you want the slide to be inserted, then click Insert and a new slide. Or just click the new slide button. Now, Virtual K has shown you how to add pictures to your slides. One overlooked area of PowerPoint is adding sounds. As you can see, it's off the insert menu, similar to pictures. Just browse to your favorite sound bite. Okay, let's move on to slide transition. In between slides, you can change how they come in and out. Off the slideshow dropdown, you'll find slide transition. Click it, and this is what you see. You can make them change by mouse click or automatically. You can add or have no sound when they change. The slide transition itself is here. You can choose box in or any other of a variety of transitions. I like to click it on slow, that way I can see how it moves. You can apply it to all or apply it to one. Choices are good and that was a lot of them. Next, I'm going to teach you how to do custom animation. Remember the slide with the picture? Click on that slide so it appears in the workspace area. Now hit the slideshow drop down and pick custom animation. Here's where we go from there. What you see is the slideshow transition. Let's go ahead and check all three sections of this particular slide. On the first slide, we'll go to it and choose effects. Let's leave it as fly from the left. The second and third, we'll go ahead and change. The third is the picture. I like to spiral things in, so let's choose it. Now hit preview. It's a little choppy here, but ordinarily you'd see it just fine. Now, let's go ahead and wrap this thing up, shall we?